load and diversity factor. Objectives to determine the load factor and the diversity factor for a simple power system to investigate the effect of diversity on the load factor. The apparatus used for this practical is fairly simple. We use an energy meter rated for 230 volts and 5 amperes. Note down the meter constant, which is marked along with the ratings of the meter. In this case, it is 600 revolutions per kilowatt hour. It simply means that 600 revolutions of the meter represents one kilowatt hour of energy transfer. The next component in our apparatus is a ninth lamp load, which consists of incandescent lamps of different wattages having separate switches. And finally, a stopwatch. Moving on to the theory, we'll first look at the load factor, which is defined as the ratio of average load to the maximum demand during a given period. Mathematically, load factor equals average load divided by maximum load. By multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the time duration, we can arrive at the expression shown here. Next on our theory is the diversity factor, which is the ratio of the sum of individual maximum demands to the maximum demand on the power station. Mathematically, we can represent it as shown. You may have already observed that the diversity factor is defined for a system with multiple loads, while the load factor can be defined even for a single load. Moving on to the procedure, as mentioned before, it is a simple setup where we have a single phase supply, the load and an energy meter. Usually connecting an energy meter is straightforward, but in the meter we use, the terminals are rewired to access the current coil and the voltage coil of the meter directly. Hence, we must go by the first principles of the energy meter and connect it such that the current coil is in series with the load and the voltage coil is in parallel with the load as shown. The nine lamp load is a set of incandescent bulbs of different voltages connected via dedicated switches. There are two terminals where we connect the supply. Turning on a switch would add the corresponding watt value to the load. Therefore, by having different combinations, we can simulate different loads. In our practical, we'll consider three different loads, load one, two, and three, which have different patterns to one another. To convert our data to simulate the daily load patterns in a power system, we will use some scaling factors one minute to represent one hour, and one watt to represent one megawatt. We'll take the readings for a duration of 24 minutes, which then will be used to represent 24 hours. During the practical, our main observation will be the number of revolutions of the energy meter disk in two minutes for different loads. One way of getting the number of revolutions is to measure the time taken for one revolution and then by taking the reciprocal, get the number of revolutions per unit time. Hence, find the number of revolutions in two minutes. For better accuracy, we can measure the time taken for five revolutions instead of one and follow the steps built shown. In this example, we have turned on four switches. That is a total load of 275 watts is connected. 
Here's a set of sample observations with the measurements in bold numbers. Reading from, from the energy meter can be used to calculate the average power as shown. We can calculate the energy consumption in kilowatt hours and by dividing it by the corresponding time, we can get the average power during that time duration. Load curve is a representation of the variation of load with time. We will use the values scaled up by the factors defined previously to obtain daily load curves for the three loads separately and for the total load. Based on our load curve, we can compute the load factors and the diversity factor for the given load patterns. Here, the only load factor calculation for the total load is shown. Please note that you can follow the same procedure to calculate the load factors for separate loads. As mentioned previously, the diversity factor is defined for the complete system. Now we are going to slightly change one of the load patterns. We'll shift the load to by two hours. Let's observe how this change affect the system. We can recreate the load curve with the shifted load. Observe that the load two in red is shifted to the right while the loads one and three remains the same. You can observe that the total load has also changed. Let's redo the calculation of the load factor and the diversity factor. You can observe the change in the maximum load. Note that the total energy supplied is unchanged. Also, the individual maximum demands remain the same, but their time of occurrence is changed. We can conclude as the load became more diverse, the load factor of the total load has increased. Here's a comparison of the load factor and the diversity factor for the two cases. Sample calculations for the load factor were done only for the total load. You can try it for the other loads separately. Hope you got some understanding about the load factor and the diversity factor and on how to compute them for a practical system. Thank you.